This is Tori from Mr. and Mrs. and Mr. That's me. <laughs> and um, tonight for dinner, I'm going to make homemade chicken pot pie. And we can't find our pie pans. <laughs> They're probably with the forks. Oh, they could be. And cups. <laughs> Plates, bowls. So Mr. has um, allowed me to use his cast iron pan. Our. Our cast iron. I'm using our cast iron pan. <laughs> But, to be honest, cast iron scares me. That's why I never use it. So I figured, uh, what's today? I don't know. Tuesday? Mon Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday. So I figure, uh... We got three, four days to clean it, so I don't want it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so earlier I put out a short. I made homemade pie crust. First time ever making it. So I don't know how this is going to be. What if you don't like it? Then nobody else eat it. I get all those leftovers. <laughs> all right, so here we go. Okay. It's a day of firsts. It's been like five years of firsts. I know. It's just so weird because <laughs> we're not 22, so it's weird that Speak we for yourself. <laughs> In my I, mind, I am. I'm not 22, so it's Age is just a number. Okay, so since I don't have my pie pan, <sighs> I'm going to just try to figure this edge out to make it look cute. Bye. I think it's going to be good. Yeah, but I want it to be cute as well, in addition to good, you know? Sure. You don't really care about that, right? I'm just looking forward to the pot pie. Mm. It's going to be a mess when I put it on my plate. Yeah, but until it gets to your plate, it would be nice if it was super cute and presentable. Oi! Oh, goodness gracious. You know, for a homemade um, pie crust, though, this was pretty pretty easy. And we don't have a um, the metal thing to cut in for dough. I don't know what it's called. It's like round and it's got these metal things. We don't have that. And we don't have a... <coughs> food processor, so I just did it with... A metal thing to cut into dough. Yeah. That's called... I thought that was, that's what that thing was, this thing here. No, that's what I use, though. That's a... Isn't that a dough cutter? Uh... Mother used to work in a baker. We use those things to cut dough. Oh, well, They then, had plastic ones, too. Then you should know what it's called. Yeah, we use those to cut dough. You should come out of the big old mixer with the hook on it, and you fling them with wood table and you take those and you just chop it oh, okay that's how well, that's how they did it, i should say okay so i buttered the cast iron pan and i put the dough in i'll try to make the edge a little fancier um and then in this bowl i took leftover chicken that we had that um james cooked up just so that we didn't lose it and i took it all off the bone then i have a can of cream of celery and a can of can of cream of chicken and I will add vegetables. Okay, so because this cast iron is so big, I had to add another can of cream of something soup. So we chose cream of mushrooms. And I used a larger veg all can with just a bunch of vegetables. And I'll mix this up. Oh my. Ah, this well, doesn't work. It doesn't work for scooping? No. I tried saying stop. I did. I tried. It was already like dumping at the same time. Now it was already over. I, are you recording? Yeah, this? I'm recording this. Okay, so I just went to add the rainbow peppercorn medley. Yesterday, uh, Mister had an incident with this, and went one to tell me, peppercorn came out whole and i was like that was weird so i went to use it and you tell me after i use it no you were in mid 
tilt. And I was like, hold on. Because I was going to tell you that that one came out. I move fast, though. I, oh, no, I know. So now I've rewashed my hands like three times. I tried using a spoon, but it doesn't work. So um, most of the bottle went into the uh, mix. It's a little... Uh... Yeah, that happened. Okay, so I think Mr. It took one for the team, um, so he will live to see another day. So what we did was, after I got all of the full peppercorns out, I just ground some up in a um, chafing dish or a small dish. I'm gonna need one. Are you excited you live to see another day? Got to remember, there might be some hidden gems in there. Oh, no. No. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. I don't want anyone yeah. to crack a tooth. Although, no one's going to eat this but you and I anyway. Exactly. I'm all about the pepper, so. Okay. Looking for the black gems in there. <laughs> Not seeing any. The so, problem is it's tricolor, so they're going to be hard to see. I think it'll be all right. Always oh. Oh. Oh, man. That's not bad, too. Jersey. Relax. Sorry about the dog barking. <laughs> oh, ye. What happened? Look. Jersey, stop. Leave it. Oh, oh man, I, I don't want to waste this because oh, it's so expensive. Oh, James. What happened? That's peas. They're all over. No. Yes, they literally are. No. It looks like dehydrated blood. blueberries. That's exactly what they are, aren't they? No. We call them dehydrated peas. Well, first of all, oh man, James. What? I didn't do it. Well, when something is broken... It wasn't broken. I fixed it. You you did not Obviously not it. that good, but I did fix it. <laughs> when something is broken, don't put it back in the cabinet because... I tried telling you, wait! But... Yeah, you got to say wait before I do it. I didn't know you were going for the pepper. Once I saw the pepper what coming... Is that? Is that one too? No, that's a pea. No, it's not. <laughs> Okay, we are you know good we're to just go. gonna roll with it. If Heck it's yeah. my tooth that cracks, what are you gonna do? Blame somebody else, not me. <laughs> what do you mean? What am I gonna do? Act like I'm sleeping. Blame somebody else. <laughs> just take off running. I don't know. It depends on how bad it's gonna get. What kind of wrong with this? <laughs> I thought it was a piece of the cast iron. I don't know. <laughs> There's options. Oh my gosh, you are funny. <laughs> I think All it's right. going to be good. Once you spread it out, you'll be able to see if there's any... I'm thinking no. It's I'm like manhunt. No. Think about it. When you were a kid, you loved playing manhunt. Right now, that's what I, we're working with. I didn't do that, so... You no. didn't do that? No. Oh, I'm sorry. No, we played Red Rover. I have we no played... idea what that is. What? Red Rover, Red Rover. Uh, somebody... Like, you join arms, and then you dare somebody to come over, and then you basically clothesline them. It's kind of... Actually, now that like, we grew up, our generation... If I'm not grew posting up. videos tomorrow, you know what happened. No. Red no. Rover happened. <laughs> Never even heard of that. Our generation spent... With ours, like you were in your own? No, I was there too. No, I said our. Our. Oh, I thought you were saying like yours. No, oh. our generation, we grew up um, amazing but crazy. But I think that's why we're so independent and why we're such hard workers. Remember that spinny metal contraption you used to sit on and somebody would spin you until you flung off it, I think? Yes. Well, now we're not allowed to do that. No, you can't do that. No. No. We all lived. I mean, I'm not going to lie, chipped a tooth on one. We had metal slides. Metal slides were awesome in the summertime. Which dropped us off <laughs> on the hot. On the concrete. <laughs> or. A pile of sand, but you're burning on the way down. Oh, we never had sand. We used to jump off the side to the big long poles and then slide down the poles. We used to play on rocks. Yeah, we had a good life. Not now. Now you have safe spaces. Safe spaces and helmets. Okay. <laughs> what is a helmet going to do when you eat it on a bike? 
Uh, You're gonna well, break your neck, but your head will be in one spot, so yeah, it's easier no, to clean up. Is all it, it is. It could actually really save you. Uh, um, okay, so now I just have to do the top crust, and then um, we'll work on the lattice. Lattice. Yeah, after I clean up all these. Ooh, we get uh, fancy. Flipping peppercorns. Yeah, that happened. Yeah. Okay, so I took the other pie crust and I rolled it out. That's probably a piece of pepper. Mister. Make it spicy. <laughs> <laughs> and I rolled it out. This is butter. That's actually cool looking. Yeah. That's crazy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this dough into... This is my silicone mat that um, James got me, which I love, love, love. But um, I'm going to roll this out into strips. You can measure it. I'm just going to... Eyeball it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make a lattice top for a pot pie. Okay, so I cut the dough into about one and a half inch strips, two inch strips. And then I halved them. I think typically most recipes will say do one and a half, two inch, but um, because this is so big, I wanted to, and I'm gonna show you how to do a lattice pie crust top. Um, I was always intimidated by it until I did it. <clears throat> and it's so easy. I can't believe I haven't been doing this all along. So to begin, you just take your strips and you put them all one way. Okay, so now I have all my strips going one way. You start using, of course, your longest in the middle and then go shorter as you work your way out. Now, all you have to do is take every other strip and fold it back half. And then you take one of your long strips because I'm working in the middle. like that and then you return the half strips now you take the opposite pie crust and fold that back oopsie make a mess And you just keep going back and forth, doing the opposite. And before you know it, you will have a lattice pie crust. Pretty cool, huh? Oopsie. If I knew it was that easy, I'd be lattice and everything. <laughs> You know, it's a good thing I don't have self-esteem issues. Why? Because I would... I'll tell you you did a good job right after. <gasps> I'd be like, good job! No, it's obviously super cool. I thought it was... Like, you literally had to weave through it. I never thought about flipping it over like that. This makes it easy. I guess that's why I dig ditches for a living and not uh, weave pies. <laughs> Yeah, so you could even use, like, little pieces and just bridge the gap, right? Yep. Huh. That's uh, some fancy stuff going on right there. Cool, huh? Yeah, that's actually really cool. I don't know how I thought they did it, but not like that. Yeah, I had no idea how I thought it was, like, it. big, complicated. Like, you, you had to literally Me put your too. hands in there and weave it and never thought about just flipping every other one every other time. That's literally ridiculous. Okay, so I'll work on the other side. I'm going to start weaving everything. <laughs>
Okay, so now I'm just going to clean up my edges and then tuck my end pieces over and clean this edge up. Okay, so we finished our pie crust and now I'm just taking a simple egg wash, which is one egg that I scrambled and add a little bit of water. And I'm just going to coat the crust in that. And then we have the oven preheating to 350. I, I don't think I've ever cooked in cast iron, so... I no? No. Cast iron's cool. It's, uh, there's definitely a learning curve with it, but it's not, uh... I don't think it's as scary as... To me, the worst part is getting it not to stick, but we have enough, what do you call it, seasoning on there that it should not stick. Okay. Should. Should I have buttered it like I did before? Yeah, that's not going to hurt. Okay. But we put the uh, grapeseed oil on there and then did the three steps, wiped it all off, heated it all the way up. I just saw a thing about all seeded oils. We're not supposed to use it. It's not good for you. But we are not a health channel at all. Well, the problem, too, is to get the uh, high smoke point, you need some kind of, it's got to be a, pretty much a seed oil. I mean, you can use, they say you can use vegetable oil and canola oil but it smokes yeah actually what i <clears throat> saw said stop using all of it just use butter but basically use lard i was gonna say honestly lard is the best way to do it people frown upon that too yeah i guess what we should start doing is rendering down our own lard we can get the pig fat from the food store render it down ourselves so we know what's actually going in there and what's not going in there and it'll be healthier Hmm. That'd be a fun uh, project. Rendering lard? Yeah, we never did that before. <clears throat> I want to make butter once, too. We never did that either. We use a lot of butter. Us? Yes. Yeah, and I don't even like butter. Yeah, no. You'd if never you know. Me if I liked butter, I would say no, but we use a lot of it. Well, you're always baking and, I mean... That, well, butter, onions, potatoes are our three biggest, probably, consumptions in this house. Yeah. Oh. Okay. She's ready to go in the oven. <laughs> this is so heavy. This is heavy. Yeah, the, the pan's not light. And you got all that goodness in there. And then add the weight of the peppercorns. <laughs> <laughs> it is heavy. That pan's big. All right, so we're going to put this in the oven, and then I'll just have to keep an eye on it, um, and then we'll figure out how long it'll take to cook. Sounds like a plan to me. Okay. Okay, so we're going to just switch sides for this so it cooks evenly. This thing is huge. Yeah, that pan's pretty big. We should actually measure that thing. That was the biggest one I, I could find, though. Yeah. And I thought it was cool. It is looking like a bucket of goodness. Yeah. Our oven needs to be cleaned. If you cook it, it's going to get dirty. <laughs> if Admi ever opened her oven and it was spotless, I'd be like, <laughs> well, how much takeout goal. do you have? That's our goal. Not takeout, but to have a... Uh, no, I'm saying if you open your oven door and it's not dirty, yeah, that's just straight up takeout. Yeah, that's what I want. Just takeout? No, I don't want takeout. A clean oven to where there's nothing on it. Well, if you use it, it's going to get dirty. Is what I'm trying to explain. I think we're saying the same thing with different ways. No. If an oven's dirty, it means you use it. If an oven's clean, it means you do all takeout. <laughs> we'll be back in a minute. Yep. Okay, so around the edge of your pie crust, normally we would use a metal rim to keep the crust from burning, but because we're using the um, cast iron, it's way too big, so I just made some. And then we'll just put this around the edge so it doesn't burn. Well, this is warm. I... Um, hmm. I don't know how good this is going to work. It should work pretty good, right?
Do I pull it out? Our feet out? Can we pull it? Uh, no. <laughs> Sold it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put my hands in there and burn them? No. No, that's why I'm doing it, so you don't get burned. Okay. Should work pretty good, right? I don't even know what you're doing. I'm just trying to keep the edges of the crust from burning. I. Oh! It didn't burn though, it just scared me. <laughs> that one's not touching. That one's over. Not. Yeah, right where your left hand is. Touching. Right there. No. Nope. There. Push down. That's Ready? gonna have to. We'll try that for now. I think it's gonna be cool. Yeah. I don't know. I never saw a foil collar. <laughs> I don't know what you call this stuff. so it's completed. Has a look. Nuts. <laughs> it looks crazy. See how that foil just saved the edge? This is huge. It's a big one. Yeah. That'd be good though. That'd be a bunch of, not only dinner, but a bunch of leftovers. Yeah. Not too bad, right? Not too bad. I don't see nothing bad about that. <laughs> <laughs> and the cast iron did good. Yeah, it did. That's cool, so we need more cast iron pans is what I'm hearing. Well, we don't need a bigger one, that's for sure. Oh, well, there's always bigger. <laughs> always bigger, sweetheart. Let me see the edge. There's always bigger. It's perfect. <laughs> and it's away from the edge all the way around. So what I'm talking about. Yay. As long as we season them right, and then, I don't want to say lube them up, but lube them up. Oh, yeah, I think it's not even stuck at all, is it? Bam! Pretty cool, huh? The thing's literally ridiculous. You ready to eat? I'm ready to eat and then take a nap. Because I'm going to eat a lot. Like, share, subscribe. Have a great night.